Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Uh, today we are going to see a data wave transformation part 9. In our last 8 video we have seen a lot of things related to data wave. But in this video we are going to see how to convert JSON to XML and XML to JSON into the uh, using data wave transformation. So let me start creating a new application. I will say file new mule project. Okay, I will say XML json app for runtime i will keep it 3.8 you can have a multiple runtime you can select depending on your requirement rest of the setting i am not going to touch i will say next next and finally i will say finish okay so what i will do here i will say http listener component i will place the http listener component into the canvas I am going to configure it under connector configuration. I will click on this add button. Okay, I will keep all setting as a default. I will say okay. I will say JSON path equals to JSON or allow method. I will say post. Right now, what I will do first, I will post the XML and I will convert into JSON. So I have a XML to JSON converted transformer is directly available. But I will tell you what is the disadvantage why we should know okay why should we go for you know like uh, data view transformation so let me open one thing uh, let me show my json and xml okay uh, this is my json message fine and this is my And this is my expected XML message. Fine. So first thing what we are doing, we are converting XML to JSON. So we will post XML and we will get output as a JSON. So let me copy this. Let me enable the application. I'll say OK. Let me go to Postman. I will say it's JSON only. Okay. Uh, next thing what I have to do, I have to go to body. Here instead of XML JSON, I will use application XML. I will say okay. Let me check what is the issue. Employees, employee. Okay. M. I forget P here. I forget P here. Okay. This is my input XML. Let me check if my application has been deployed. Here. Yeah, okay. Application has been deployed. I will say send. Okay. So we got the JSON. Employees, this, this, employee, under employee, we got this, but our expectation is this format. Employees, under employees, I want employee name like that, but here the output is some different format, but I, my expectation is this. Okay. Now I will, we will go other, other way around. Instead of XML to JSON transform, I will use JSON to XML. Let me save the application. So let application to deploy. I will copy my JSON message. I will go to header. Let me go to body. Okay, I cannot see the body. Okay. Let me go to other other way. So let me say post. Let me go to body. Okay, uh, let me select a row, a raw, I will say application JSON, I will paste my uh, JSON message and here I will put my URL, HTTP, localhost, okay, I will say instead of authorize, I will say JSON, let me send the message, let me check if application is deployed, yeah, my application is deployed, send, see we got a message, fine, it has converted. Into the, but it is not in expected format. See, we have sent two requests, we got only one into the converter. Fine, it has converted into XML. That's fine. Now we are going to see using the data wave transformation. Let me delete it. I will drag and drop transform message. First, I will convert JSON into XML. Let me go to Mule Pro. Let me click on transform message. Let's wait. Okay. I will define my input payload. I will say add. I will say employee 
json i will say create type then the type i will say json i will select example and click here i will go to desktop i will say employee json okay we got this has listed everything here i will say select now i will define my xml i will say add i will say employee xml i will say create type i will say xml i will select example let me click on this ellipsis go to desktop i am okay this is my xml okay something is okay i haven't saved one minute so i have done some changes here let me save it let me drag and drop let me do it again let me remove yes yes i will say add emt xml the create type xml example desktop i will go to desktop one minute let me check my xml what is the problem with my xml Just a minute. We will going to finish it. Soon employ. Okay, uh, okay. This is the problem. I find it out. Okay, fine. I let me save it again. So some problem with some tagging. I will say define metadata. Go to XML. I will select type XML. Example. Okay. I will say employ XML. Okay, you can see the. XML here. Now you can select. So you can see the XML metadata. We will do the mapping. Employee name goes to name. Destination goes to destination. Salary goes to salary. Age goes to age. Let me save the application. So it will deploy the application. So let me open the XML message also. Fine. This is my XML. So we will verify if we are getting the expected output or not. Send. See, this time we got the expected output. See, employees, then employee, then we want name designation. After that, we want other employee under that name designation. We got the expected output. In similar way, we can convert XML to JSON. Go to transform message. You know, from here you can clear metadata. You clear metadata. Go to define metadata. Here you can select the employee XML now into the input region. Okay, in output region you can say employee JSON. Now go map one by one. Name goes to name. Let me just a minute. Let me remove everything from here. Okay, let me put two curly bracket. I will say employee goes to employee. Designation goes to designation. Salary goes to salary, age goes to age. Now save the application. It will deploy the application for you. Now let me open. Now we will going to post the XML instead of JSON. Okay, uh, go up here. I will say paste it. Now I will select application XML. Let me check if application is deployed. Yeah. Now I will send it. See, we got the result in expected. JSON. So I will show you. I will open my JSON. See, I want in this format. We got in the proper format where we require. This is the advantage of your data we mapping. Fine. So you can define your you know input and output, and you can map according to your requirement. Okay. Thanks for watching video. If you like my video, just subscribe to it.